Yes, Sarah, Ben, today's summit was part of Comptroller Sean Scanlon's ongoing series of health care roundtables, hoping to examine the obstacles Connecticut residents face. Today, focused on LGBTQ plus health care, a space many medical providers say has advanced in the past few years, but they feel that progress is fragile. I think healthcare is a challenging space for everyone, right? LGBTQ or not. According to the Trevor Project's 2023 National Survey of LGBTQ young people, 41% seriously considered attempting suicide in the past year, with those who are transgender, non-binary, and or people of color reporting even higher rates. The financial cost of healthcare, insurances, and also finding Affirming uh, incompetent LGBTQ providers adds an extra component for LGBTQ people that makes it a little bit more challenging or sometimes a lot more challenging. Wednesday advocates, medical providers and hospital leaders met with state officials to talk barriers to health care access for LGBTQ plus people. There is nobody in our state that does not care about this and doesn't have to interact with the health care system. And it's up to us to make it better for all of them. And I'm confident that we can. Wednesday's conversation won in a series of roundtables Scanlon is hosting. Health care is something that obviously matters to everybody and within healthcare, we find different kinds of challenges, whether it's based on what your gender identity is or where you live in the state, whether you're a woman or whether you're a child. Issues discussed Wednesday, a shortage in services and providers to meet demands, insurance companies being more supportive of the community, domestic violence, and even housing. Scanlon says the state will continue doing everything it can to protect LGBTQ people. I'm confident that Connecticut will continue to be an open and welcoming space for everybody, regardless of who you are and who you love. And after all these summits, Comptroller Scanlon will compile a report to present to the public and state legislature with findings and ways to make health care more accessible and affordable in Connecticut. Sarah, Ben.